why did Fitch ratings upgrade the viability ratings of Japanese megabanks recently? Japanese megabanks capitalization traditionally was weaker than global peers, and that was the major constraint for their ratings. However, um, and that was because of the um, early volatilities result in um, lower internal capital generation than peers. However, observing the uh, previous few years, and they made a good track record of greater stability in their earnings, and greater stability in earnings point to an improvement in capitalization. And their capitalization um, is narrowing the gap between themselves and global peers, and that triggers us to upgrade their viability ratings. In terms of the capitalization, we, our analysis focuses on Fitch core capital ratio, which um, ranging between 7.5% to 9% for the three megabanks at the moment. And uh, looking at the Basel three regulatory capital ratios, all of them, um, Fitch believes that all of them has a good position to achieve the minimum ratio and based on the fully implemented basis, all of them already had more than 7% capital ratios as of now, that um, all of the megabanks could um, comply with the minimum capital ratios before the required date. Are Japan's megabanks making solid progress in building risk buffers? They're making risk, greater risk buffer by um, earning stability and they gained earning stability by few factors one is the cost control cost control meaning operating cost control and also loan loss charges control due to their tight loan quality control and the other factor is reduction of equity investment traditionally they had large equity investment over 100 percent of their tier one capital right now they reduce the exposure to lower than 30 percent of tier one capital which contribute to less volatility in their earnings and also diversification in earnings net interest revenue versus fee income and also geographic diversification contribute greater stability in earnings do the risks posed by overseas expansion weigh on the ratings of Japanese megabanks? Japanese megabanks maintain 10 to 20 percent growth outside of home market by focusing on blue chip, um, st stable large corporation, and we see that this trend to continue. Therefore, we see that the risk appetite for the megabanks in overseas market is quite cautious and conservative, and we don't see any immediate change in their strategies. Fitch also expect any increase in risk tolerance will be well compensated by adjusting risk pricing or also improvement in capitalization. These two factors will absorb any increase in risk. Therefore, of expansion in overseas itself will not limit the viability rating of the megabanks. How does the increased exposure to Japanese government bonds affect the credit profiles of the Japanese megabanks? All of the Japanese megabanks have abundant liquidity in the whole market and mm -hmm. alternative opportunities for investment is quite limited and loan demand is limited as well. So we see that um, exposure in Japanese government bond to continue an increase. However, based on the Fitch's stress testing, mm. the Japanese megabanks has, um, has a greater um, risk buffer to absorb any stress. For example, 150 basis point increase in interest rate risk only reduced their Fitch core capital ratio by 1% and core capital ratio will remain higher than 8%. So we, really, we believe that all of the Japanese megabanks have good um, risk buffer to absorb any losses related to even Japanese government investments.